Charlotte, North Carolina, to receive what God has there. Now, I believe that the building, you know, we have a building that we're building at 3409 Brookshire Boulevard, but the building won't be ready. Amen. So what we're doing is we're using the building that we've been using. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're going to get a seat, you're going to have to get there because I do believe that God has a tailor-made word just for you. I really believe that very strongly. And again, I believe the address is 2670 Dot Carver Road. I believe that's the address to KCC Charlotte. And I'm going to tell you something. God is about to do the impossible in your life. And I'm telling you what I know about the spirit of God. And I want you to hear me. But one thing for sure that I believe the spirit of God spoke to me about. Hey, Sister Brianna. One thing that I, I do believe the spirit of God spoke to me about very strongly. Y'all, let me turn this air off. One thing that I do believe the Spirit of God spoke to me about very strongly is that as we get ready to go into 2020, this is a very profound year and a very powerful year. And it's a year that we absolutely need to pay an enormous amount of attention to. And let me tell you why. Of course, I did a service in Tampa, Florida on last night. Uh, amazing service there in Tampa, Florida. The Lord really showed up in a powerful, powerful, powerful way. But before I was in Tampa, I was in, uh, where was I? Houston, Texas on Wednesday. And I was in St. Uh, St. Mary's location there on Thursday. I do believe that I have a word from the Lord. And I do believe that God has spoken a word to me that I believe is going to shift your very life. And I want you all to hear me. And I want you to hear me very well. Because I do believe what I'm about to tell you came directly from heaven. I told the church there in Charlotte and told the church, I'm sorry, I told the church there in Houston and I told the church there in Tampa on Friday night that as we come into the year of 2020, and that's why, uh, again, as you know, one of the giants of the faith passed today. Another giant passed last week, I believe, Clay Evans. But the Lord spoke to me and said to me very clearly, and that's why I want to release this word, because these things are going to begin to happen. But the Lord told me that 2020 is the year of the giants. I released this word prophetically in Tampa, and I'm released. Matter of fact, you can go on Facebook, and if they were still recording, you will see that. But God told me that 2020 is the year of the giants. Ron Hart Bunky passed away today. Evangelist Reinhard Bunke. And if you all know anything about Africa and anything about evangelism and anything about ministry, you know that Reinhard Bunke, I believe, is recorded to have won, if not 75, I believe 75 million souls to the Lord in his 60 years of ministry. The Spirit of God spoke to me and said that 2020 is the year of the giants. That means that as soon as we go into 2020 and coming up to 2020, but for sure as we go into 2020, I know prophetically that a lot of giants are going to begin to pass away. Now, I want you to hear me very clearly, and I believe this is a word from the Lord. Matter of fact, I know this is a word from the Lord, that 2020 is the year of giants. Not only is it the year of giants in the church, but I'm talking about politically, I'm talking about in Hollywood. I'm talking about in every arena. You're going to begin to see giants begin to pass. Giants' careers are going to be over. And I'm not saying that it's because of a, something bad that they've done. But there is a shifting taking place. And the Spirit of God spoke to me and said, not only are giants going to be passing away, but giants are about to be born. This is the year in 2020 that giants are about to be born. And I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, I don't just want to say something and just be saying it. And the spirit of God said to me that giants are about to be born. But the way you're going to know these giants that are about to be born, 
you're going to know them through their discipline. You have Michael Jordan. You have Kobe Bryant. You have LeBron James. You have all of these great, great players. But I want to let you know what sets them apart is discipline. And the Spirit of God began to speak to me very, very strongly about my life and about your life and about what he wants to do in your life but said that these things will only come to pass in your life through discipline. Now, I'm begging you all by the spirit of grace to hear the word of the Lord. God made it very clear to me, and I've also shared this, that the Lord made it very clear to me that some of you, if you do not do the discipline that you're supposed to do in this coming year, I do believe that some of you, the door is going to close. And it's never going to open for you again. See, one thing about history, if you don't learn from history, you're going to repeat history. So the spirit of the Lord is saying to me very clearly that 2020 is the year of the giant. There are giants in you, that giant for your business, that giant for your ministry, that giant, hallelujah, for whatever that thing God has called you to do. This is the hour for that giant to come through, but it is not just going to come through by just happenstance or coincidence. There is a discipline that you're going to have to commit yourself to. And I want to say this, because some of you, the reason you struggle is because you are committed to struggle. All right. But God wants you to commit yourself to greatness in this hour. Joshua chapter one says, this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth. I believe that is Sister Cynthia Moore. I love you and I'm praying for you. Praise God. I love you so much and I thank God for your life. And I feel that very strongly. I love you so much. I feel your prayers and I feel you praying for me. And I love you so much for that, okay? That's Sister Cynthia Moore. We would love to have you come to the church very soon, whenever you have time. But I want you to know that Prophet Khan is praying for you and he feels your prayers. This is the year of the giant as we go into 2020. All right. That's one word. I also know this by the spirit of God, that 2020 is the year of the prophetics. That we will see a great demonstration of apostolic and prophetic authority. But here's the word of the Lord that God spoke to me. He said to me that in 2020. You need to understand the symbols. You need to understand the prophetic. You need to know how the prophetic operates. And the reason you need to know this, glory to God, is because God is telling me very clearly that there's going to be so many people prophesying and so many people giving the word of the Lord and so many people saying God said that if you don't have discernment and you don't understand the prophetic and how it operates, Many people are going to be deceived. So that's another thing that I want to release to you all. That as we come into the year of 2020, two things. It is the year of the giant. You will not see a manifestation of the giant in you if you don't commit yourself to discipline. Now, we've had different eras where people just were able to come forth and sometimes some of you have relied on your gift. But I'm telling you that this is an hour that you're going to have to rely on the Holy Ghost and give yourselves to prayer and fasting and consecration. You're going to have to get in that gym and work out. You're going to have to watch your eating habits in the coming year. You're going to have to get in that word and study because God said that there's ministry in you, there's greatness in you, but you will not see a manifestation of that greatness if you do not commit yourself to discipline. This word is not just for you. This is a prophetic word for me too. I went into 2019 saying that I was going to be in shape by June and I'm still overweight. That will not be my testimony in the coming year. I also know prophetically that this is the year of the second chance. You that messed up, and I want to say that I believe that I messed up and hindered some things in my life, but I believe 
that you that have messed up, those who have tried to stop you and to block you and to hinder you. This is the year coming into 2020 that the giant in you is about to be born and it cannot be stopped. And I want you to hear that prophetically by the Holy Ghost, that the reason the enemy wants you to give up and to throw in the towel and to talk about some, I'm sick of this and I don't know how much more I can take it because the enemy knows that you are right at the break of something, all right? So I need you to hear me by the Spirit of God that the prophetic and the apostolic is going to be very strong in this coming year, 2020. You're going to see a whole lot of new prophets on the scene, a whole lot of new apostles on the scene, and I'm telling you that you're going to have to have discernment. And that's why we need more prophetic houses. We must have prophetic houses. I received the word from the Lord in 2020 to prophesy aggressively in the coming year. That's what God said to me. He said, 2020, I want you to prophesy aggressively. And some of you who know me know that I've not been really prophesying. As a matter of fact, if you go on HVNW, Heaven's Newswire, I haven't been releasing prophetic words, okay? Uh, I haven't been prophesying a lot in my church haven't even been allowing people to go forth in the prophetic, not because I don't believe in it. Of course, I believe in it. But this is a season of foundation that the church got to get a good foundation. And I believe that God has built KCC and other ministries all over the country have been built on solid foundations. But now as we get ready to tap into the year of 2020, God said to me that he wants me to prophesy aggressively. Here's another thing that I want to release prophetically. And I'm saying this to pastors and leaders, our members. You need to identify. Now, hear me good. You need to identify who your father is in the spirit. Identify your pastor. I want to say this by the spirit of grace. You cannot be going everywhere. Again, I'm not against visiting churches. And, you know, no one man has it all, okay? You understand? But only one man has your DNA. And you need to not be so tricked now by this prophetic, because I'm telling you next year, we're going to see an onslaught of prophetic voices and apostolic voices. It's going to be extremely strong. But if you don't understand symbols, if you don't understand the prophetic and how it operates, a lot of us are about to be deceived. I received a very strong prophetic word from the Lord this morning. And I know by the spirit of God that the word that I received came direct from heaven. I'm telling you that 2020 is the year where God is calling for the prophetic and the apostolics. I don't think those are words that I'm making up. He's calling them to prophesy aggressively. Also, I received the word from the Lord for my generation. And there's something that I'm going to be putting together with a few men in my generation and women that I'll be coming together with and trying to build. Okay. Our generation, 2020, listen to me, millennials. Listen to me, all of you that are young and believe God has called you to ministry. My generation is great at worship. We are great at the prophetic. We are great at doing a whole lot of things. You hear me? But we lack sanctification. And as Prophet Warren said, we are trying to operate in power over perversion. And you cannot put power over perversion. There must be a sanctification in this hour. So that's another word. I don't want to share everything with you, but I want to challenge you. Do not just be going to somewhere on New Year's Eve just because you're going. You that need to hear from the Lord, you need to make it to 2670 Dr. Carver Road. I know by the spirit of God that something supernatural is going to happen in Charlotte, North Carolina. 
God has called me to speak to the giant in you and to release a prophetic grace on you so that you can operate in this next thing. But it's going to take discipline. That's what God is calling. Do you know sanctification is nothing but discipline? You cannot put power over perversion. You cannot just prophesy over this sin and this mess in your life. I'm telling you by the spirit of God that God is calling us to sanctification. And because God is calling us into sanctification, I want to meet with some men and some women who are willing to build an alliance with me and build something powerful that we can reach our generation. I'm calling on men and women who have voices of influence. I'll be meeting with you. I want to say this to you again. When God tells you to do something, you got to do it. There's some of you that I'm looking at right now. You know you're supposed to be in Charlotte, but you're worried about how you're going to pay for stuff. God told Abraham in Genesis, the 12th chapter, get out and go to a land that I will show you where I'm going. I don't know. Just go. Get out. And as you step out, I'll take you places you've never imagined. KCC Charlotte, KCC all over the world. We're getting ready to start something that's going to make the demons of hell angry. As you know, KCC Charlotte will be a 24-hour church headquarters. You'll be able to come there and pray 24 hours all of the time. Praying, seeking God. There'll never be a moment that you come in that facility and you're not able to pray and fast, and lay before the Lord. So I'm telling you all in the Holy Ghost that God told me that the year that is coming is going to be a lot of chaos. As soon as we get into 2020, that's why these voices got to be birthed. See, whenever there has been chaos in the world, God always raised up giants. And there will be Chaos. As soon as we come into the year of 2020, there's going to be chaos. And I'm talking about so much chaos that even a potential war is going to begin. I'm telling you by the spirit of God that coming into the new year, I saw the flag half mass coming into the new year. I'm telling you that preachers and ministers Giants are going to be passing away. And there's one major preacher that's going to pass soon as we come into the new year. That's going to cause sadness to be all over the world. I need you all to hear me. God is getting ready to move in the life of the discipline. I'm talking about coming up. You're going to begin to see New York on the news. You may, this may happen before the, the year is out, this thing concerning New York. But I know for sure as soon as we're coming into the new year, I'm just sharing with you some of the things that God is showing me. There's a Mexican earthquake. Let's pray for Mexico. There's a Mexican earthquake coming. Let's pray for Mexico. Also, I need to tell you this. I don't care what you all do. President Trump is going to triumph. But that's not nothing that should concern you. We're in a different kingdom. We're to pray for him. We're to pray for President Trump. I believe he needs our prayers. He's going to triumph. The impeachment won't succeed. They won't be able to stop him. Are you listening to me? You're going to begin to see much going on. I'm going to be prophesying ridiculously in the year of 2020. So Trump is going to triumph. I also see Kuwait, K-W, 
I'm sorry, K-U-W-A-I-T. Kuwait is about to be in the news. That's a small nation in the Middle East. But I see a big news story concerning Kuwait. All right? Let's pray. Let's pray. Are you listening to me? You know, you know the Jeffrey Epstein, you know the Jeffrey Epstein, that case that was on the news? I believe he killed himself. There's a major secret that's going to arise concerning him. So let's pray that God would release the prophetics in this hour. Because 2020 is the year of the prophetic and the apostolic is the year of the giant. Are you hearing me? But it is only for those who commit themselves to discipline. When is the last time you went on a fast? When is the last time you beat your flesh under subjection? That's what KCC is about to be doing. As a matter of fact, Monday, we start our fast as we get ready to go into the new year. Then January, we'll do another fast. Then February, we'll do another fast. Then March, we're doing another fast. We got to commit ourselves to discipline in this hour. I'm telling you what I know about the Spirit of God. So you that desire to see a manifestation of power, you that want to see his glory, you must commit yourself to sanctification. You that want to fast with us, I will be sending. Uh, it'll be on my website. Uh, you can get it by email. Go to the website, I believe, and sign up that way. I don't know, but there'll be a way for you to get it. If you've not downloaded Heaven's Newswire, you need to get it because that's how you're going to be able to keep up with these prophetic words. I know by the Holy Ghost that 2020 is the year of the giant. Are you listening to me? But the way you're going to identify the giants in this season is watch those who are giving themselves to enormous discipline. God is about to do something so supernatural in my life. And I'm excited about it. God has told me this. We need to be very careful. Again, this is the year of the prophetic. Are you listening to me? This is the year of the prophetic. But you must pay attention. Are y'all hearing me? Because there are going to be so many people prophesying that you're going to be having to make sure that you're hearing what God is saying. Okay? Don't give up. Get in discipline. Discipline yourself in this coming year. Do not give up. If you are anywhere near the Charlotte, North Carolina area, if you're in Raleigh, I'm sorry, on Dakota Don, send me an email and we'll fix that. If you're in Raleigh, if you are in South Carolina, if you're in Georgia, if you're in Mississippi, Tennessee, if you're in New York, California, I'm telling you by the Holy Ghost, D.C., Virginia, all of you need to make it to Charlotte. You need a word from the Lord. Get there. Download the app, H-V-N-W. H-V-N-W. Download it. I commit myself going into 2020 to great discipline. I commit myself to being faithful. Are you listening to me? It is the year of the giant. Please tell me what uh, Prophetess Tamara Bennett said. I want to know. That's my sister. It is the year of the giant. And it's your year of visitation. Y'all, I know this in the Holy Ghost. There's no registration for the New Year's Eve service. I don't believe I'm going to stream. I don't believe. I may stream the prophetic. I'm not sure. I might. 
but I don't want to promise you that because I believe that there's something going to be in that room that is for those who make it. So I want to challenge you all to give yourselves to prayer. Give yourselves to fasting. Watch night service will be in Charlotte, North Carolina. As we go into 2020, it is the year of the giant. Are you listening to me? New York is going to be on the news a lot. I've shared with you some things that I know the spirit of God has given me. That if you commit yourself and be faithful, you're going to see things happen. Don't let nobody frustrate you in this coming year. Stay low. Because your time is on the horizon. God been taking me through a crucifixion of the flesh for the last three, four years. But I promise you, there's a glory coming on this ministry. I would love to be your pastor and your leader, but I take it very seriously. If there's any pastors out there who need covering and you're serious, come on, join CCIF. City Church International Fellowship. If there are any leaders, men, women, itinerant preachers, whoever you are, but pastors specifically who need a covering, come and be a part of CCIF. There are some preachers and men of God who I'll be reaching out to. They don't even know it. I'll be showing up to their churches. Teresa's on here say she wants to give her life back to Christ. You can do it right now. You don't have to wait. You don't have to wait. Give yourself to him right now. If you desire covering, if you're a pastor and you need covering, send me an email at prophetbriancarn at yahoo.com. I don't care where you are, but this again, this is serious. If you are a pastor and you need covering, send me an email at prophetbriancarn at yahoo.com. I'm teaching another dreams class this month. If I was you, I would register for that dream class. The last one was absolutely amazing. Go to the website and you can do it. Another thing that I want to ask you all to do as we get ready to go into this new year. And I want you to hear me very, very well. Because we're going into the new year. And because we're believing God that this is going to be a phenomenal year. I said phenomenal year. I said phenomenal year. I've given you the prophetic word, the pre-prophetic word that God has given me, how that this is the year of the giant, that this is the year of the prophetic, and you're going to need discernment, and you're going to identify the giants by those who commit themselves to discipline, and how there'll be many giants dying next year. Many. Not just in the church. I'm talking about politically. I'm talking about in Hollywood. And I'm telling you, going into the new year, the flag will hang half mass. Telling you what I know. By the Holy Ghost. I want to challenge 300 people with me. 300 people. The dream class is not online. I do the dream class over the phone. So you that want to do the dream, you hear me? You that want to do the dream class, go to briancarn.com or dot or whatever you want to do. And everything you need to know is there. It's a class with an enormous amount of information. And then the fourth class will be in my face where I lay hands and activate you and release the ministry. But that'll be next year. But I actually be teaching it this year. This is the year of the giant. I need 300 people with me to sow a seed of $22. That's all. 300 people to sow tonight in faith. 
this seat. I believe it's December the 7th. And I just, in my mind, it may be 22 or 23. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Actually, 24 days in the new year. 24 more days. I want 300 people with me to sow a seed of 24, if you would like, with me to sow a seed of $24. That's all I want. That's all I'm asking you to do. To sow a seed of $24. There are 24 more days in this year. Let's sow a dollar for every day left in this year. Private Khan, where do I sow it? You can sow it at briancarn.com, briancarn.org, or you can send it to the cash app. Dollar sign PBCJR. PBCJR. Amen. PBCJR. Or go to the website and sow it online right now. I don't want you to hesitate. I need your names. BrianCarn.com, BrianCarn.org. And I need your names because I want to covenant with you and go into intercession for you. I want everybody that trusts the word of the Lord in my mouth to do that tonight. And I believe God has a word telling me just for you. Y'all, 2020 is the year. God wants you to get on the edge. That's the word of the Lord. That's what I've been teaching at the Charlotte Church. Take the limits off of God. Some of you need to be aggressive and take the limits off of God. Because God's about to do some amazing stuff in your life. But you've been lazy. Everybody right now, go to the website, briancarn.com, briancarn.org. You can, you can mail it in to the P.O. Box 11507. Jacksonville, Florida, 32239. God told me the coming year to learn Spanish. So that's what I'm doing in 2020. Everybody need to learn Spanish because that's the language that's getting ready to be in America. So I'm learning two languages next year. I'm learning Spanish and I'm learning sign language in 2020. I'm committing myself to learning Spanish and learning sign language. That's one of my disciplines. I'll also be doing another shut-in in Houston, but this one is going to be at my Houston church when we get it. It's going to be 12 hours of prayer. When we get ready to go into the Charlotte building, I believe I'll be putting together a 24 hours of prayer in Charlotte at the Charlotte church. <clears throat> Let's be aggressive this year. Let's be disciplined. We're going to prophesy aggressively. We're going to sow aggressively. We're going to believe God aggressively. We're going to fast aggressively. So I'm challenging everybody. Go to the website. BrianCarn.com, BrianCarn.org. So now, go to my cash app at the dollar sign. P Bishop Lewis say not the cent sign, but the dollar sign. P B C J R. And let's sow this seed. It's for the last twenty-four days of the new year. I'm telling you what I know in the Holy Ghost. 
I'm grateful that God put two people at my church who know Spanish. So I can go to them and learn Spanish. Put a woman in my church who knows sign language. So she's going to teach me sign language. But these are something that I'm committing myself to. I'm going to prophesy aggressively. Somebody say, Prophet Khan, I want to give more than 24. Well, give 244. I don't care. Give 2,044. Give a mi two, 2 million 44. It doesn't matter. God spoke to me and said to me that this is the year of the giants. Now, this is just the beginning. And just the pre-part of what God told me is coming in the year of 2020. I love you all so much. I know what God has said to me. And I know one thing for sure. God don't tell lies. In the coming year, we're going to see a lot of stuff about um, transgender you going I'm just telling you, we got to pray against the spirit of perversion because in 2020, we're going to see a lot on the news about transgender. And how do you feel about it? I feel what God said about it. It's wrong. But you're going to see a lot of stuff about transgender next year. A lot of lawsuits, people mad, people feeling like gays are losing their rights. But I'm telling you, the church needs to pray. If there's ever going to be a miracle, it's only going to come through the church giving ourselves to prayer. Let's pray. Let's fast. You hear me? Let's give ourselves to prayer. Find out who your pastor is. If you are a pastor right now and you're listening to me. And you need a leader. Come join the fellowship. Come connect with us. If you're a young man and you need a pastor to train you in your gifts and your prophetics, come join us at KCC. Come join us.